Philip, I want to tell you a story. <laughs> and like all good stories, it starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a father. And in case you can't figure that out, that's me. <laughs> this father had a wonderful little boy. He was very happy. But then one day he found out that his wife was going to have a little baby. So I pray, Lord, if it's your will, you make a little girl. And he did. I was the first person to hold her in my arms. And I looked at her and I said, Lord, make her like her mother. And he did. She was loving, giving, and so good and so kind. But then I realized I was getting left out. <laughs> so I said, Lord, make her like me. And he did. She could drive a truck and a tractor. She could load a hay and strip the back of it. You realize what you did. <laughs> but at the same time, she was opinionated, emotional. So I said, Lord, that's enough of that. <laughs> Make her like you. And he did. He gave her the desire to serve people. She loves people. She gave her life to be a nurse. She's brought people back from the dead. And she's held the hand of people and breathed their last breath. He gave her a heart for missions and she's trekked all over the world. Pushed canoes up swollen rivers and laid on the floor while bullets whizzed outside so she could tell people about Jesus. But still something was missing. So I said, Lord, make her happy. But she made me. You see that look on her face? I never saw that until she died. Not for that. Today I'm giving you the best thing I have to give. I just wanted you to know before I do that how hard me and God's work to get it ready for. <laughs> God's worked hard. Don't screw it up. <laughs>